Hey there YouTube. Recently I decided that I wanted a 3-axis gimbal for my aircraft. But the problem was, is buying one online, they were expensive for one. Two, they came from America, which meant I'd be waiting at least 20 to 30 days. And three, they weren't actually all that light. So I thought, why not design my own? Now, I made two different types of gimbal. I made the much larger gimbal, which can carry uh, relatively large cameras of all sorts of formats. Um, three axis, as you can see. And I made the ultra light, simple gimbal, which can carry, um, technically it can carry the same as that, but it's um, a, a much sort of lightweight design so generally it's better for GoPros because there's not too much clearance there but you can configure it in other ways so um, another option is rather than mounting the servo there that plate can actually actually sticks to the top through um, special teeth and then you can mount the servo down there and remove this plate which is then used in conjunction with that so two servo, uh, two gimbal types now, weight-wise, these were very, very light, excluding the servos, because you can choose all sorts of different servos. These are just the ones I put in. Um, so the first is the Ultra Basic Gimbal, and as you can see, it really is Ultra Basic. It's got one, two, three, four, five components, and that's it. Now, um, weight-wise, you're looking at seven grams for this. That's seven grams for your entire gimbal sort of frame kit and that is very very good in my opinion and this is actually very strong stuff I mean this would hold I, if I was to make that frame out of this I could easily hold some pretty large cameras because this stuff flexes a tiny bit but is very very strong um, so all you do is you slide a servo in there stick it in place you then as you see get it to another servo and what I did was I drilled a hole in the casing and put a screw through and that gave me a strong t contact and then I also hot glued it to stop it slipping and then on the top plate I did the same with the putting a screw through that plate and a bit of hot glue and it works perfectly and is very strong now for the more complicated design um, you're looking at an all up weight of uh, I'm not sure, I can't quite remember. I think you're looking at about 20, 25 grams because uh, acrylic is heavier and also um, there's more pieces. So what, all this here is just the protective film on it. But um, similar design to that, they share components like the arms, um, the, the top plate, things like that. But it, as you can see, it is a very different design. So if I sit it up, you've got your main servo here, which again goes into another servo which I've drilled a hole into the casing, but you don't need to do that. You could always um, hot glue that in and then uh, strap it around with zip ties and that would do. That would be very strong. Whoops, it is easy. <laughs> um, then I've got this mount here uh, where I've cut holes and then I've made a face plate and uh, I've put a screw through it to hold it in place along with hot glue to provide friction. So that works very well. Just uh, joints and then the servo there. So these are three axis gimbals. So if I demonstrate when the camera decides to focus, which may be a while. Okay, so you've got your tilt, uh, sorry, your roll. You've got your yaw, and down there you've got your pitch. These are all very good servos. They're um, pretty decent. They're not actually too bad as far as jittery. They're, these servos don't jitter. They're, the, the bigger ones don't tend to jitter, so you're generally okay. Um, lots of torque. Um, you can go with all sorts of different servos. I mean, I mean I'm going to offer to sell these. And so you tell me the size of the servo you want to use and I'll cut the hole for that servo. Or in fact, you tell me what you would like a gimbal to look like and I'll design you a gimbal. 
these are just two that I've made myself, but honestly I can design you anything in 2D <laughs> and make it into 3D um, with the plates. So thanks for watching and if you would like one, do message me. I think I'll be selling this one for, uh, I think it was around three pounds uh, and then whatever the postage is. Uh, and this one is going for, I believe, I think it was, uh, the material cost was seven pounds. So I won't actually be making any profit off of these. These are just, if you want one, I can print you one and I'll only charge for the material and the postage. So postage is the same for both of these. Uh, in the, within the UK with normal first class, I think you're looking at about two to three pounds. Um, at, uh, no, that might even be with signed delivery. Um, outside the UK, it's usually six pounds uh, with signed delivery. So it's all good. Uh, thanks for watching and message me if you're interested. Goodbye.